channel and welcome to my first synthetic street sunday oh, please just watch the whole prep and installation process and i'll come back with more specs of this hair later on and oh yes before we all go into it guys please do like subscribe to my channel and share with your friends this part i forgot to mention so the the aim of this whole clip was just to show you guys the hair and the closure straight from the pack and how good it is the bundles are thin but they are silky they are smooth yes they do have the smell it is synthetic hair but gorgeous 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 and they felt different after washing the hair actually so not in a bad way in a good way because now they are more softer and that's why i guess that is why i went a bit over with the oil because I, I literally forgot what type of hair it is but anyway another thing that i enjoyed while installing the hair was unraveling the bundles the bundles are easy it does say on the pack on the pack that it is um tangle free i did not believe that but as you can see for yourself it's not that difficult it's really not it's not like hard work i don't have to kick twist or do anything it's very easy so yeah hope you guys do enjoy this video
So I thought, so I thought I needed. So I thought, so I thought, so I thought I needed. drawn to this pack is when I saw the closure. I was happy. I have never seen any synthetic hair with a so let me just say with a 4x4 four four closure. I'm used to like 4x2 two or you just cut the lace and then that's, that's it. Like lace thing and for this with the bundles I'll just insert a clip where I did a comparison of the bundles compared to my Malaysian bundles like 100 grams bundles compared to this the bundles are very small yes and they are synthetic so in terms of the texture of the hair in terms of how it feels it's very different I cannot say otherwise if the pack had said that is natural unprocessed hair it would something else but now at this point it does say that it's a hundred percent premium quality hair which simply says it's synthetic but it's definitely good synthetic so the specs of the okay let's maintenance of the hair it's very simple detangle the hair you wash carefully with um, warm water with mild shampoo and conditioner you um, they do advise you to pet, pet dry the hair and lay it down so it should just air dry it says the styling on the styling guide it says that you can use a curling iron up to 100, 180 degrees um, you can spray lightly spray the hair or use gel curl hold for 10 to 15 seconds no longer than that and it says here allow hair to roll off curling iron gently to retain curl shape i haven't curled the hair the only thing that i did was to straighten the hair i used my tuning guy um straightener which goes up to 235 but i i did first first at first i did start at 170 then i decided you know what i'm not i'm not feeling it that's when i took it to 180 so 180 yes i've got the results the hair felt different um and then it goes off and says my hair um, has fantastic performance with consumer grade styling tools rated under 180 degrees so definitely don't go higher than that because it does say higher than 180 degrees can potentially damage the hair i do agree because um what i did before I didn't show that off camera I did try to flatten this part of the hair it had uh, quite a few flyaways so I thought by taking up while well, using applying um, heat it would actually get rid of it but no and there was a bit of a smell so I thought okay the hair is burning and let me not go, in, <laughs> go into it so the hair feels good it really really feels good I did have to make my own wig it took me about three hours and only because like the webs are very thin that's another thing that i really did enjoy about the bundles the webs are thin so i was able to you know, just do the fold over method so what i did is i applied the closure i took the oh yes i forgot to mention it comes in two 20 inches two 18 inches and two 16 inches so i took the 16 inch and i applied it on the perimeter and then i went in 
starting from the bottom with 20, 20, 18, 18, and then the 16 inches both at the top. And this is the amount of hair which is left. I'll just quickly show you. There we go. Not bad, nah, not bad. And so I'll put that in later on. But for now, I have, I am happy. It's a different feel to it. Honestly, straight from the pack, it felt like a synthetic. There was a smell of synthetic hair. And I was like, okay, it is synthetic hair. So why am I bothered? So I did the wig. I tried to tint the lace. It did not work. It turned yellowish. Then I decided, okay, that's fine. I did wash the hair only to get rid of the smell. Overnight, the hair dried very good. I washed the hair last night around 8 and this morning when I woke up, I think I woke up at 5, I was very excited and when I checked the hair, it was dry. So it does, it does, doesn't even take that long to dry the hair, which is very good. And also what I did then after that, I did um, straighten the hair using my straightener and I plucked the lace which the plucking was a bit challenging hey the way about were feeling I think they're like the knots are very 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 strong so actually plucking the hair wasn't easy but I was able to get some parts out so because I, I like wearing my wigs like this I don't like them thick at the beginning and um, yeah that's it what else what else what else what else what else maintenance in terms of using products not much if you're not a product person I think this for you would be great because I like using products I like my hair smelling a certain type of way I would say I did use go in again with L'Oreal I do regret but I was just trying to get rid of the I don't know just to get rid of a bit of the smell but um, do I suggest using products? Yes, once a week. I feel once a week will be okay. But you know what? I'm giving this week a whole a whole week. A whole week until next week Saturday to see how how's the maintenance, how much will I need to do in order to um keep keep up with this hair. Um so far I think I feel once a week it's okay to apply your oil and then just let it be after that I don't think I would need to apply a lot right now it feels good it feels really really good I applied the the oil twice but it feels good but I feel that's enough that is it until next week Saturday when I wash the hair again and try on a different style should I style during the week I'll just add that to my update just to let you guys know what I did and how was the hair and how was the hair from then until our update and yeah that's about it oh what else oh yes the price the price so the price did not the sorry the <laughs> the pack did not have a price on it like no price written in me no way so I had to run to the till to get a price in my head I thought okay it's about 600 rand if and if it's more 600 rand, I am not taking it so I'm gonna let Tinfish leave beef that I had to buy so when I cut to the till and the lady was like I get the 10 at first I was like yeah get the 10 and I was with my sister so my sister was like 310 this came from there's a 4 by 4 closure there's no way this could be 310 and then she's like, hi, Lisa, hey, kitch, hey. And then when she checked, she said, get 329. I'm like, okay. Okay, 129. So it's 300 grand. So, bon, I we just paid and we left. So for 329 rands, is it worth it? Yes, it is worth it. It is worth it. I am happy. I don't regret spending 329 rand on this baby. Like, these are like basically bundles on a budget like straight budget budget from the shop to you keep budget the feather like there's just nothing keep budget and it's worth it at this point in time where we are with what's going on around, around the world around the country we need to save up save up some coins and this this is it 
this is this is it and yeah quite sure what else that i wanted to mention Yo. oh the air the okay the installation process i decided on the ball cap method you don't have to do it i honestly tried the wig before even cutting the lace i did try it with the lace and i was happy and you can yes you can wear it without gluing it down you don't have to i just did it because but it's it for me right now it's 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 the best because i'll be keeping the wig until next week saturday home i would prefer an easy morning and an easy morning for me is waking up in my wig and leaving the house coming back in my wig and then following my night routine and that is it i'm used to it i've been doing it now for about a year and it works for me so do you have to glue, glue down the wig no you don't have to but if you want to you your scale you can you don't even have to do the whole ball cap method you can just apply the spray and that's it you're done and flyaways this hair does have flyaways especially the closure part yeah but it's easy to get rid of and you only see you will only notice the flyaways just after washing the hair not before so yeah this is um this is what i used to get rid of the flyaways and it worked better so yeah that's about it i would just oh just one more thing guys please if you're going to be applying heat to this hair or any of your wigs or bundles please make sure to use heat protect heat protect basically is that protects your your hair from heat there's no way no way where you will find hair that is not damaged by heat that could never be damaged by heat so at this point should you use a styling tool that is higher than 180 and it burns please don't come back and say yeah I can use heat just make sure that you know how strong your, your tool is and like I said it's a high, like the, the box does say well not the box like, like okay from the pack it says it's 180 Keep it on 180 but also do go in with the hair protectant spray just to make sure that your hair is it's protect can wear a wig for like six months or so you should be able to especially if you're not into the whole styling process because just stay straight from washing the hair straighten it once just to lay down everything flat and then yeah from there you should you should it's just an easy it does not look or feel like high maintenance i think i just went a bit over because I, I am excited about the hair i usually wear my wigs for a month and sometimes you'll find that i only wore a wig once last year and then i'll wear it again sometimes i do wear them twice a month that will mean maybe in the first six months and in the second six months so if you want person to be wearing it like right through for three months straight or six months straight with low maintenance this should be good and also another thing is what's very important is how you pack your wig if, when you're not using not wearing your wig make sure that it's laid down for the following day if you're not going to be wearing it until whenever just use this pack rather like I normally do I just throw the paper board or whatever that is and I just fold the wig and I place it in there until next time so that is just to avoid any tangles and damaging of your your hair so yeah i'll see you guys in my next video which will be on sunday giving you guys an update on this hair and i hope you guys did enjoy today's video if there's any other um oh no no it is i'll leave the details of the shop in the telephone number and their address should you wish to go but if udula around Brett's area, you should know Afremat ki ele mole monhona len trayere. So asale trayere ki Afremat. So you you see, the okay, the shop is quite big. So yeah, that's about it. What else? I did also try to search for my hair. 
I couldn't find it. Uh, I couldn't find a proper page which gave, which gave me contact details and someone to speak to. Instead, it was an overview of the company and other packs that they have actually produced. So, one of the packs which I'm familiar with is Vitamin Hair. I've tried that pack before, sometime way back. But at that point in time, you know, it's like month end, and the quality, I can't really, really remember how good it is. But I remember that I had the hair for quite some time. So I am going to try and get vitamin. I know where to get vitamin. There's a store in Pretoria, Baragi, Charlie Parker. There used to be a Charlie Parker, but it's not Charlie Parker anymore. I'm going to go to that store. They do have vitamin. So just to give it a chance and see if it's really, really this good or as much as they say it is on the on their website, or not on their website, but on the link that I picked up, I'm going, I'm going to give it a try and see. So I'll let you guys know of what, if I do, should I get the hair, but definitely not now after lockdown. So yeah, for now, I will say guys, I'll see you next week for an update. And yeah, please don't forget to like and subscribe and share my video. And yeah, if there's anything or any other premium hair fibers that you would like to suggest to me to do a review on or try, please comment down below in the comment section. Pro I promise, Bona, if I can access the hair, I will get it. And you and I will just have another moment of a sweet synthetic Sunday, baby. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.